I get excited about Shakespeare because of the sheer variety of possibility with him and the way that he can be adapted that you can take him. You don't need to know an entire Shakespeare play to be able to quote him. Lots of people who've never seen any Shakespeare will know that if you hold a skull, that's referring to Hamlet or to be or not to be, or might know Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou Romeo? Shakespeare's alive, I think that's what's really exciting. I think it's particularly interesting at the moment to consider how Shakespeare resonates with contemporary politics. It's almost that when something becomes politically difficult, um, and it's maybe too close for us to think about in our own terms, we can use Shakespeare. Shakespeare is a little gap where it's safe for us to sort of discuss how we feel and the possible things that might happen. I think the fact that Shakespeare is often thought to be British is something that within my research I'm trying to smash. Because when we say British, we sometimes mean English. When we say English, we sometimes mean Middle England and white middle class people. My own research is looking at amateur performance of Shakespeare. And amateur performance of Shakespeare smashes that boundary instantly because suddenly we get Shakespeare performed with accents we've not heard before. We can have a Northern Irish accent, we can have a Yorkshire accent, we can have a Cornish accent. The phrase might be performed in Welsh suddenly what we think of being Shakespeare and Britishness changes entirely. I think the legacy of Shakespeare in another 400 years will be even bigger than it is now. Uh, we only need to think about the ways that Shakespeare is currently developing, the ways that he's being used with technology that we can't even properly envisage at this moment. I think Shakespeare for the 800th anniversary will be even bigger than it is now.